Hello, hello. I'm Courtney Q. I'm Sarah. Welcome to our second week of our meditation series. This month we're focusing on acceptance and today we are in the Presidio, the beautiful Presidio. Last week we discussed and focused on acceptance in relation to self and this week we're focusing on acceptance in relationship with others. <laughs> our interpersonal relationships. So yeah, we're gonna kick it off as we did last time, asking each other a couple couple hot questions, get each other's hot takes, and uh, <laughs> see what spice shows up. So I think I asked yeah. first okay. last time, so I, I'll give you the opportunity yes. to surprise me, make sure. my jaw drop to the to the ground, <laughs> to what, the tan bark. <laughs> <laughs> what is something that you have realized that you will not accept in others? Mm. <laughs> Why are we always on the same page? <laughs> Uh, I think for me, it's, it's this reciprocity mm. thing. And of course, it's not always going to be exactly even in our relationships. But I think I put myself in a lot of relationships or got used to dynamics that I was giving far more than I was receiving. And due to my own upbringing, I just felt that was normal. That's what mm. relationships were about, of giving so much of you and not getting much in return. But I think with conscious communication in our relationships and really understanding what we have to give and what's important for us to also be receiving in relationships, I can now allow myself to enter in relationships that are much more fulfilling and feels like feels like we're both I don't know dancing together in a way that just feels feels good I don't know how else to put it but it feels much better to be in a reciprocal relationship beautiful and yeah my jaw didn't drop to the floor but that was the question I had in mind let me see oh if God. I have a different <laughs> one or it could just be perfect I mean, yeah we could I could answer that okay because yeah because I did think about it I'm like what would I answer Perfect. That. This um, is not planned or staged, yeah. folks. This is, Could you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> Movie magic. Yeah. <laughs> Reading off the script right now. You right? <laughs> um, I feel like mine is like I value honesty and that open communication, and I have had relationships in platonic or otherwise where I felt that. Maybe the person wasn't being intentionally dishonest, but there wasn't that like open communication. And I really value that and I look for that in future connections. Mm. So that's something that Ooh. I consciously, uh, I don't accept dishonesty, to put that short. <laughs> yes, you heard it here. If you see this lady on the streets, you uh, better be honest. <laughs> Wonderful. So I think from here, we're going to go ahead and hop into the meditation. I'll let you know them, but just get ready. Get ready to grab a friend, a partner, a stranger, a pet from the ground. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello. So where are we going today? Today we are talking about acceptance in relationship to other, our interpersonal relationships. And so for today's meditation, grab a friend, grab a loved one, grab your pet, <laughs> whatever, whatever you can get, because invite them into this meditation experiment, this meditation challenge. And if you don't have um, anyone physically to bring into the space with you to do this challenge, go ahead and just imagine as if someone you love was with you doing this meditation. And have it be someone that you trust, at least at least a little bit. Um, your relationship may grow as a result of having done this together, but someone that you can close your eyes with for a little bit and try something, try something new. Wonderful. And just as a note, I am the Zen master, so I will be looking down at my iPhone <laughs> at certain points during this. Um, for a couple notes, but yeah, 
think we can go ahead and start to find your seat today. So you can be seated on the floor, you can be seated out in the forest like we are as well. <laughs> um, but a couch can also be really supportive just to have that have that cushion behind your back. Me and me and Sarah can even just be imagining as if there were a cushion behind our back. And so starting to settle into your seat here, we can even experiment with leaning forward a bit, leaning backwards, and finding where is center today. It can help as well to even bring a hand to the lower belly and a hand to the back to also help find, find where center is today. And so as you find that comfortable seat, and as you find center, you'll slowly begin to start closing the eyes. And we'll begin taking some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beginning to slow down, to plant your roots down, and getting ready to talk about acceptance. Acceptance in our relationship with other. Last time we talked about acceptance in our relationship with ourselves. In order to be in true, healthy relationship with other, we must first be in relationship with ourselves. It can be much harder to accept others when we cannot accept ourselves. The most healthy relationships are when we don't lose our connection with ourselves when connecting with others. Taking a deep breath into that idea and letting it go with an exhale. And so our interpersonal relationships, they can be beautiful, but they can also be extremely challenging and testing. And so today I want you to bring to mind a relationship that you're experiencing some friction in, you've experienced some challenge, or maybe even just a disagreement, and go ahead and bring a hand to your heart. It doesn't have to be the person sitting across from you. Maybe it's a familial relationship that's common. Maybe it's a friendship or a coworker maybe even a boss situation. And just starting to bring it to focus, bringing a hand to your heart and a hand on your belly. Imagining this relationship, feeling your hands expand on the inhale. And as you exhale, your hands draw inward. Bringing compassion to yourself right here and right now. And so what could trouble us in an interpersonal relationship? It could be the ending of a relationship. It could be the changing of a relationship. As individuals, we are always changing. And so naturally as an extension, our relationships do as well. Or it can also be hard to accept when you and a friend are maybe going through different stages in life, not able to relate about the same things anymore. And just breathing in through your nose, feeling the breath deeply fill up your body Letting it go on an exhale and acknowledging your courage for being willing to go here, 
So we're willing to sit with the uncomfortable emotions that might come up when we're honest with ourselves. It is a true act of courage. And noticing if any tension has cropped up and just letting it go with a sweet exhale. Remembering the warm bath water from our last meditation and just inviting you if it does feel helpful to bring it in at any points during this meditation today to go ahead and do that, leaving anything that doesn't resonate today. And so we'll begin to talk about what does acceptance mean for our interpersonal relationships. When we accept others as they are, it doesn't mean we accept crappy treatment. We can accept others as they are while also accepting and honoring our own needs and boundaries and our feelings about situations. And by accepting ourselves as we are and accepting others as they are, we are actually able to orient ourselves and decide how we want to be in relationship with them. And so just breathing into this idea that we can accept someone as they are and be able to decide to have boundaries with them or what level of closeness feels right as a constantly changing process. Continuing to breathe into this idea, the idea of traveling down through your body, starting at your head, moving through your facial muscles, through your shoulders, through your front body, your chest, your heart, also your back body, your shoulders relax. Continuing down through your belly, your belly releases. Breath is sent all the way down here. It continues down through your legs, through your hips, eventually making its way all the way down to your sweet feet and sending compassion to yourself here. And so before we continue on to the partner part of this meditation, Well, think about some ideas of what does it mean to accept someone as they are. Perhaps it's not about trying to control them, to change their mind about something. Not even thinking that we know what's best for them either. Perhaps acceptance is that you are on your own path and they are on their own path. Being with without trying to change. And just be with yourself for a moment longer here. Holding yourself. Hand on heart. Other hand on your belly. Allowing yourself to feel anything you're feeling. And so now for this next part in the partner meditation, you're going to scoot a little closer to each other. You'll keep your right hand on your heart. And with your left hand, you'll go ahead and extend it out to go over, (laughs) to go over the other person's hand on their heart. Yeah.
Yep, feel free to scoot a little closer together. You'll keep your eyes closed for this portion and you'll start to sync up your breath here. Breathing in deeply through the nose together and exhaling together. Breathing in together through the nose and exhaling together. Taking another deep breath in through the nose and letting it go, exhaling. Now we move on to the eye gazing portion of this segment. Remove any shades you have on perhaps and yeah, get quiet. Just looking at the person in front of you, into their eyes, noticing if any desire to say something comes up, and just continuing to breathe. Enjoying this moment of simply being with the person across from you. And now we move on to the affirmation portion of this segment. And so the affirmation is, I accept myself exactly as I am. Each partner will take a turn saying this first. And after you've done that, uh, someone will go first and they'll look th- keep looking at the other person in the eyes and say, I accept you exactly as you are. Letting the message be fully received. And noticing what it feels like to be accepted exactly as you are. Thank you so much for joining us for this meditation. We recommend that you practice this meditation every day this week to deepen in this topic. And so we're also leaving you a free little worksheet downstairs in the description box. (laughs) Uh, You could go to that link and we'll deliver that to your inbox and it'll just kind of help you, again, deepen in a different way, reflect, think some more, get some seeds planted in your head um, to point you in a direction that that can help you be of benefit and for next week so you'll be watching this one uh this week as sarah mentioned and next week we'll hop into acceptance in the context of our relationship to the world to our collective systems to mother nature um to that bigger than us so we can be both focusing on 
how our own acceptance, how it starts with us, but we're able to make a ripple effect in the world around us. So we hope you will join us. We look forward to seeing you there. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the lovely green screen. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.